Hey Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. Today we're going to check out the AirPods 2 and talk about what's different so you can decide if that's what you want to pick up. If you are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech reviews and advice, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. But let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to get right into it. Now, I did not get the wireless charging version. Personally, I don't really see the appeal of wireless charging. To me, it seems like a first world solution looking for a problem. So I just decided to save the 40 bucks. Now, I have never had AirPods myself. I didn't really see the appeal of them. I usually prefer over the ear headphones. But lately, I found that maybe I do kind of want a smaller pair of earbuds to take with me. So I waited for Gen 2, and I'm glad I did. Now, on the back here... Graphics haven't really changed much. You have your tech specs on the bottom. If you do get the wireless charging edition, it will say so right there. So let's just get the box open. Now, right away here, we have the usual propaganda and stuff, so we'll set that off to the side. We have the AirPods themselves, and then below that, you have a lightning cable if you need another one of those. So we'll set the box and everything off to the side. Now, taking a look in here, it's just your usual regulatory stuff. But here you have a quick start guide that kind of tells you what to do and how to use it. So we're going to set all that off to the side and take a look at the AirPods. Now I did get mine engraved. I kind of like that service that Apple provides. Some people don't do it because they think it hurts resale value and maybe it does. But I figure these will be compatible with iPhones for years to come. So even when I do upgrade my phone, I'll probably still hang on to these. And also, I doubt that they're really going to change all that much from generation to generation, as we saw from one to two. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't anticipate selling these anytime soon. And honestly, who buys used headphones anyway? So taking a look at the case, it is very small. It's about the size of a Tic Tac box. Again, I got my name on the front here. On the bottom is your lightning port. On the back is one button for Bluetooth pairing if you do want to use these with a device other than Apple. And that's really about it. I do like how clean and just nice the case looks. And it does have kind of a nice heft to it. It's probably one of those old marketing tricks that heavier things tend to be perceived as higher quality for whatever reason. Now I see there's a battery and all sorts of stuff in there, but it's got a nice solid weight to it. So let's grab the iPhone and get these all paired up. Just open the hinge and right away... The graphic comes up telling you that everything's paired and you see the battery level on both devices. Now, what's kind of nice is if you do have the battery widget set up on your iPhone, if you swipe to the left, you can see all of the battery information for the case and the AirPods themselves. So that's kind of nice as well. Now, we're not going to do a sound test or anything like that because personally with headphones, I think that's a bit worthless for you as the viewer. You can't hear them. So doing that for you is... Kind of a waste of time, I think. Now inside, here is your charging indicator, the light right there. So one question you're probably asking yourself when you're looking for videos like this is if you have Gen 1, should you be upgrading? And the consensus seems to be no. Now again, I didn't have Gen 1, so I can't tell you personally, but from everything I've read, people are saying that it's really not worth it if you already have some. By the time you either try to sell them or just spend all the money and buy some fresh, it's probably not worth it. Now, what you do get with the new H1 chip is up to 50% more talk time if you're talking on the phone that much, about twice as fast switching between devices, faster connection to phone calls, stronger connectivity overall, but kind of the highlight is a supposed 30% lower latency for gaming, which means the delay between the action and the sound should be less noticeable. And also there's support for voice-activated Siri if you'd like to use that as well. Now, if you do want to control some of the settings for your AirPods, Apple kind of put it in a weird place. They hit it in the Bluetooth menu, which is not the first place I would look for it. I wish they would have a dedicated section, but you have to press the little information button, and here you can get to all of your AirPod settings. Now, your double tap method for the left and the right, here's where you can control it. Your options are Siri, play and pause, skip tracks, or just nothing at all. Automatic ear detection, pretty self-explanatory. You can toggle that on or off. And you can distinguish which AirPod you want to be the main listening one. Personally, I'm just going to leave it on automatic. Now for the voice activated Siri, the setting on the AirPods is just going to mirror whatever it is on the connected device. So you cannot turn this off and have this one on or the other way around. So just keep that in mind. 
So that's really all we're going to tell you for the first look video. But real quick, I just want to show you some day one accessories that I picked up on Amazon. I got this whole pack for seven bucks. So I just want to show you everything that it comes with. Going to dump everything out here. Now what I was really after was just a nice case to keep this nice white case looking nice. So I was looking for a case and came across this set. Now it does come with a nice matte finish silicone case that you can slip the AirPods into. Fits very nice and tight. And on the side here, it's got a space for a carabiner clip. Has nice little AirPod cutouts on the front. Also, one nice thing is that it has a cover for the lightning port so you can keep dust and lint and everything out of there. And again, because it's protected, you get a little bit of drop protection, everything else. So that's what I was really after. So that's pretty cool. And then also it comes with a hard case if you want to use this while traveling. Now it comes with all this stuff inside when it gets shipped. But of course, you can just put the AirPods there, a couple little accessories. So you get a nice little clamshell style case carabiner, and then all of this stuff. Now, these are some cool hooks if you want to use your AirPods while you're running. This kind of turns them into that style, kind of like Beats a little bit. So I was really excited about those too, where you can just use those when you want. A couple of these little rubber covers. These might help with fit. If you have a problem with them staying in your ear, a couple of these might help with that. This is a neck band. So if you're constantly taking them out and you just want somewhere to put them, maybe just let them hang from your neck. That's a good way to go there. And then there's this little gadget. Now, this thing's kind of goofy. I don't really know who this is for, but it's meant to slide onto the silicone band of your Apple Watch, and you can shove a couple there and hold them there. Now, again, I don't know who that's for, but that's what it is. So this whole kit only costs 7 bucks. I figured even if I only use a couple of these things, again, I was really after just one of these. But for 7 bucks, you get all this stuff. I kind of like these too. So I'll put the link for this whole set down in the description for you. So guys, my verdict is these are an absolute win. Now, I am heavily invested in the Apple ecosystem. I wouldn't call myself necessarily a fanboy or anything, but if you're just looking for some headphones that have a lot of convenience and work well with your Apple products, I don't think you can do better than these. Now, if you're an autophile and you really need high quality sound or you're working in a studio doing something, then that's not what these are for, obviously. But if you're just looking for convenience, so you're going on the train, you're at work, you just want to listen to podcasts, whatever, where earbuds are going to cut it for you, then these are a good way to go. Again, because of how seamlessly they work with your Apple products, I think these are great. Price is a little high, but it's not outrageous. I still think that's warranted. Now, like I said, I did not opt for the wireless charging case. I don't really see a need for that, especially for a $40 premium. Again, I don't really get wireless charging. To me, it's not that cool of a thing. So I opted not to get it. Of course, you can do whatever you want, but for the $160 base model, I think this is a great way to go. And again, if you do want to pick up that accessory pack that we checked out, the link will be down in the description. If you guys have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. Find me on social media so you can stay in touch. But most importantly, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, we'll see you next time.